My birth is I was born in uh, June 12, 1925. Born in uh, it's called a town, a little town called Salatvana, which it was uh, in the Carpathian Mountains. And that time it was Czechoslovakia. My parents, my father was in the more in the lumber business. We had the lumber yard, we had the lumber mill, and uh, we had some forests. When the war broke out in September, uh, we saw a lot of uh, Polish army every day and night were came, coming from Poland going towards France with, with wagons and cars and trucks. And, uh, we were taken to Auschwitz in uh, May, May 22 and 44. We were taken to Auschwitz and there I met, because my father wasn't home, he was arrested almost uh, from the beginning when the Germans came in. So we happened to meet together with uh, my father, my three of the uncles, my younger brother, Ali Wiesel and his father. And we kept together, f and then they sent us to Buna, which was about two or three miles away from Auschwitz. And we were working at the IG industry. I have a number, yeah. Oh, my number is uh, 5901. My father's was 5900, and I was right after him. Your mind was always working, how can you get a hold of some food? Because that was the key, food. We lived only on 450 calories a day. The four sisters and one brother, they uh, were uh, killed in Auschwitz. But I was together with my brother, my father, and three of the uncles. I remember a little story. When we were once from Bochum, we went to a small camp. It was very, very hot. We were digging trenches for when the bombs, uh, uh, bombers, and, and the bombers were passing us. Hundreds of them it was black. The sky was black. It was very hot. And one woman, she was deaf, and she brought us water. And the guard told her not to bring water, not to give us water. He didn't let us give her, and she didn't hear. He killed her, he shot her. They kept us taking us from, from Buchwald, went to another small camp, and then back to Buchwald. And from then we went to Theresienstadt. We were liberated in Theresienstadt. My father was still alive, but he had typhus, and I took him to a hospital in Prague survived for four months and after that he died. And he died in my, in my hand, I was holding him when he died. I lost a lot of people. I lost my parents. I lost five of my siblings. Yeah. The grandparents, grand uncles. I had my, my great grand grandmother there, who when, when we went to, to Auschwitz, she had 140 grandchildren and great grandchildren. 140, and 90% of them were gone. I got involved with, uh, with the Bricha. They were smuggling the Jews who came from Russia and Poland to get up to, to Germany. Did you go to Palestine? I came to Palestine, yeah. The uncle from here, from the United States, whoever survived, they sent papers to us. And I got my, my papers in 46. So I decided to give up to come to the United States. And uh, I volunteered to, to, to go to Israel, to the, to the army. We arrived uh, between Hadera and Atlit. Why we left around two o'clock in the morning, and they brought us the the first times the oranges. They brought us uh, crates of oranges, and uh, we uh, they gave us there some food and some shorts, like sh shirt, and uh, let us rest for a couple two three hours until the late in the afternoon, and then they took us out and they showed us how to use a rifle, how to load it, how to shoot. And two hours, three hours later, we were at the front, which I think it was Latrun, but I'm not sure. A lot of us died there. And after a, a two days, they took us off because uh, we, didn't know, we didn't know anything. We didn't know how to handle it. I uh, start to learn how to use rifles, how to use a machine gun, and uh, we became soldiers. I felt great. I felt the reason, that's why I volunteered, because I gave up to come to the United States. And uh, 
I uh, wanted to help. I wanted to, to be part of it, part of what, what's going on, to, to create a Jewish state. Suffered a lot because of uh, 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 we were Jews. After two weeks, they sent us down to, uh, we joined the Givati uh, group, and we were in the Negev. When we went, went to the Negev, I remember a lot of people died, and a lot of people we were wounded. We were uh, eight, uh, 85 of us, only 16 to survive. The battle was hand to hand. There were the Sud Sudanese uh, uh, soldiers, black, black soldiers, and we were fighting with knives. And, and sure, you're scared. If you're scared, if you are in the war, you're scared. A war is, is a very, very nasty thing. You see, you have to, you always have to look out for your life. There, in the show, I was different. You always had to find survival food. Here, you have to protect yourself. If you don't protect yourself, you're going to be killed. So your mind is always hard to, to, to outsmart the other guy, your, your opponents. It's a different battle, a different thing. You always thought about it. It was still fresh in your mind. It was in 48, 48, and uh, just uh, three, three years, exactly three years since we were, we were liberated. That war probably is the most important war Israel has ever had and ever fought because it will take only one or two generations until the Shoah will be slowly going to fade it away. And if we don't have a state of Israel to defend ourselves, if we can get to the, the same place where we were before. And I still believe that could happen. And the only thing which can save us is the state of Israel. Yeah, well, I saw, I have a little story, I saw Golda Meir, I was taking a, a tramp. And she stopped, picked me up. And I was going to Kvarsaba. She said, I can take you only to, to, uh, to Renana, which is going to visit my sister. So it's her Golda Meir, she dropped me off at, at Renana. And, uh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm in heaven because I've never dreamt to live there until 85. I, I, I cannot think of any regrets because I had so many successes in spite of what, what I went through. And, uh, and I contribute a lot of my successes has to because I went through all these things. It, it, uh, I grew up that, through those hard times. I became tough, tough, I became independent. So I regret what regrets uh, can I have? I don't know. I'm, I'm really consider myself a very happy person. I'm what? happy, happy with, uh, with my fortune, what I have, and what I did, and what I still do. And uh, being in the Israeli army is very, I'm very proud of because I feel I did contribute a lot to the state of Israel by doing, by just being in the army and fighting for the, for, in the wars. Very proud of that. I'm proud of uh, my, my children but, uh, because uh, I think I produced excellent children and grandchildren. And uh, I'm proud of my wife and, uh, and, and, and of my achievements. How would you like to be remembered? As a good Jew and a good, good husband, a good father. It's, and, uh, this is what I'm, I'm I don't think uh, uh, for granted these things. And, uh, I'm very proud of a lot of things that I do, and I did it sincerely, and I did it uh, uh, with love, whatever I, I, I did. And I still do.